good morning everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Hope you're doing okay. So for today, we're going to be looking, uh, continuing our series in Holy Week. But before we do that, here's a special word from Ruth about something all the kids can get involved with this week. Over to you, Ruth. So hi, guys, junior church guys. We've got a bit of an art project for you to get involved in this week. As I'm sure you know, uh, this coming weekend is Easter. So what we'd like you to do this week is to, on a piece of A4 paper, draw a cross, then decorate that cross using whatever you want. It could be felt tip pens, crayons, colouring pencils, paint. You could collage it. You could uh, use paper, whatever you want. You could even write words inside the cross to decorate it. Once you've it finished, get your mum or dad to take a picture and get them to upload it onto the Bridge Chapel website, www.bridgechapel.co.uk. And then, hopefully, you will be able to see your artwork on the Bridge Chapel Facebook page and Instagram page. So we'd like as many of you as possible to do this. And uh, we look forward to seeing what you come up with. I'll see you again soon. Bye. So if you can get involved with that, that would be great. Uh, do what you can, send them in, uh, and we'll we'll show them uh, on the website uh, and on the Facebook and Instagram accounts. So yeah, that would be great. I'm going to read a few verses from Matthew chapter 26, just the first five verses. When Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and plotted together in order to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. Remember we thought about Jesus' triumphal entry um, and the, the day that follows is filled with Jesus teaching and a series of incidents and also some parables. And the, the end of all that teaching is uh, the end of Matthew 25, which is Jesus teaching on the final judgment. And the Pharisees and all those the people have been hearing those teachings over the course of that day, seeing what Jesus done, turn over the, the money lenders' tables in the temple, um, or teaching about paying to Caesar what Caesar's, Lots of things have happened and they've been getting more and more wound up. And finally, they decide to put their plan into action. But I just want you to notice verse 2 when Jesus says, You know that after two days the Passover is coming. And the Passover, we know, is Israel's celebration of the historic deliverance uh, from slavery in Egypt. So Jesus is referencing that feast that's coming up, but also for us, it's pointing to a, a new Passover which Jesus is going to institute where he himself is going to be the lamb and it's going to be his blood that atones. And then it's incredible uh, coming together of the, of the two images where the, the original Passover is, is remembering what happened in Egypt but is also pointing forward towards this, uh, this very week uh, when Jesus will be the, the new Passover, the the uh, the complete Passover and his blood will make atonement for our sins. And it's an incredible thought, isn't it, that it says, it goes on to say that the Son of Man will be delivered to be crucified. Jesus knows this is going to happen. And the, the Son of Man is the, is the phrase that Jesus most often used to describe himself. And I think, as I've been thinking about this this week, just this idea that Jesus knew what was coming, uh, humanly speaking, yeah, his resolve and his um, determination to go through and, and to complete and fulfil uh, his mission, which was to go to the cross to sacrifice himself as a ransom for many. Just reflect on that. It's, a, it's amazing uh, what Jesus knew was going to happen and yet his great love uh, to, to do his Father's will and to achieve our salvation was his motivation. If you remember, when Jesus first started his ministry, he got up in the temple and read out 
the scroll of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor and he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. And as, as we approach Friday, we see this, this prophecy that Jesus himself read come into its fulfillment, come into its climax. So let's reflect today on Jesus' resolve to complete the work of salvation. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing uh, that God loves us so much. Jesus was willing to obey, uh, knowing the horror that lay ahead. He was willing to become the new Passover, the complete Passover. And by his blood, we have our liberty from sin. And that really is good news to us, isn't it? So let's reflect on that today uh, as we go through this day and remember uh, Jesus' resolve and his willingness to complete the work of salvation and, and to do it on the Passover Memorial Day. Have a great day and God bless you. We'll speak to you soon.